Anthony, I'm Bob from Paradise and today we're going to talk about the Amorphophallus uh, genus. Um, made th in the Amorphophallus, they're in the family Araceae, which makes them an Aroid or Aram, same thing, Aroid family or the Aram family, uh, family Araceae. There's some 200 species in the Amorphophallus, really interesting plants, amazing flowers, and um, they're um, from Asia um, right through to, to Australia um, that they occur. There is one similar species in South America, which we'll talk to you about later. But um, the Morphophallus um, plants are a real collector's specialty. Uh, amazing, they are amazing plants from huge to quite small, but you'll find all the flowers are quite intriguing. They get um, Often they get patterned trunks. If we just come in on this, this is a Titan arum, this one here. If we come in on the trunk, you can see the, the pattern on it. Some of them are called snake lilies because of the, that one's not, that's a quite a dark one. Here's an, this is another one here. This is, you can see the trunk on this one. This, this is only a young one. It's a Amorphophallus punifolius. It's got a snake patterned trunk. And this is a, a rough skinned one. And, uh, We've got quite a few different types. This, this, um, this is a Titan arum. This one here, Morphophallus uh, titanum. Um, this is one we collected from Sumatra, and that's where they, they actually come from, growing about 800 metres altitude. This plant has one of the, well, it is the largest inflorescence in the world. The uh, looks like a flower. It's gigantic like that. Um, biggest one's just over three metres. That's been measured so far, but they're often well over two metres uh, in size. It's not the uh, true flower. The true flowers are quite small ones down um, within the, the um, under the spave of the plant. When they, uh, you can see the, the flowers, they come out, sorry, the uh, leaves. Most of the flowers are a bit like this, and here's some more, some younger ones down here. Yeah. They're uh, like a single single leaf form, quite unusual. And these actually grow to about five or six six metres, so they're quite a spectacular thing in themselves without the flowers um, every year. Each year they, they die back, go back to a bulb, and each year the bulb gets bigger and bigger. When it gets about this size, it's big enough to flower. So after about... They've been flowered in Brisbane, um, or Jacob's Well, is the first place that I know know of in Australia that they were flowered and um, it took eight years to flower that one. Um, you can expect reflower, they do reflower but not every year, it might be every three years, something like that. Um, and when one does flower you get thousands and thousands of visitors to, uh, to have a, a look at the, the side of it. Quite an amazing plant. The ones um, that we send out they're the, they're the seedlings that we send out. So they've come up from this year's seed. And uh, each year that'll get bigger and bigger. And uh, you'll have a mighty Titan Arum. Um, there's, of the 200 species, we've um, had quite a few different ones over, over the years. Um, we're aiming to have more. We've got a few coming up um, over winter. So. Um, it's just a, one of those things that people like to collect and uh, around the world there's um, some amazing pictures of, of all the different types of amorphophallus that, that are collected. So anyway, have a, have a look at them. Um, they're quite an amazing plant and all uh, different shapes and sizes.